There's a new name in the ever popular double cab bucky segment in South Africa, Fiat Professional Fullback, and it's been recently launched in South Africa. But well, Alan, is it not based on the new Mitsubishi Triton bucky? That's indeed the case. And it gives us a sneak peek as to what to expect of the new Mitsubishi Triton. However, does it offer enough to take on the establishment in our segment? Well, Wilhelm, I've got the recent car top 12 winner behind me in the form of the Ford Ranger. So I suggest let's put them head to head and see if the Fiat has got any chance in the local marketplace. Inside the fullback cabin is rather modern and also equipped with a big infotainment system that features a touchscreen. The leather seats help to raise the ambience in the cabin to a level above that of the Ranger. Rear legroom is also good, which helps it as a leisure bucky. And other features include automatic climate control, electrically adjustable driver's seat, and then interestingly, Fiat has decided to stay with a manual lever for the transfer case. Size-wise, these buckies are very similar. There's very little to choose regarding interior space and loading bay size, although the Ford's load bay is slightly deeper than the Fiat. However, the payloads are even similar, with the Fiat offering a full ton and the Ford Ranger 938 kilograms. As the Fiat fullback is based on the new generation Mitsubishi Triton, it's also fitted with one of their engines. However, this one is found in the current generation Triton. It's a 2.5 litre four-cylinder turbo diesel engine and it develops 131 kilowatts and 400 newton meters of torque. Unlike the Ranger, this model is fitted with a five-speed manual gearbox. The Ford Ranger was the leisure bucky benchmark when it was launched back in 2012 and the interior is very much car-like. The driving position is excellent with reach and rake adjustment on the steering wheel and the dash is neatly laid out with all the comfort features that you expect from a bucky of this ilk. The cabin is nice and spacious and there's actually quite a bit of legroom in the back. Where the Ranger is starting to show its age however is this small little infotainment screen that is actually a bit clumsy to use. Under the Ranger bonnet you'll find a proven 2.2 litre turbo diesel engine delivering 118 kilowatt, but more importantly, 385 newton meters of torque. In this case, it's mated to Ford's slick shifting, six speed manual transmission. Nicole, this on paper performance doesn't do it for me. I challenge you to a drag race on the road. Challenge accepted. Those of you who have driven the previous generation Mitsubishi Triton will definitely and immediately feel at home behind the wheel of the fullback. The buck is similar in size, the gearbox feels similar, switching gears is easy, it feels like a bucky gearbox. It rides fairly well, although not as good as a Ford, but on the open road it's really comfortable. The engine is especially lively, much more so than the Ford. Overall, the fullback just feels slightly more compact, slightly better to control, not as big compared to the Ranger. And that's what I like about this buggy and what I've liked about the previous generation Triton. So I'm driving the Ranger at the moment and uh, the Ranger has always been known for a good ride, which is very important when it comes to leisure vehicles. It's as comfortable as a passenger vehicle. Yes, these big buckies are a bit cumbersome and clumsy in town, uh, parking and so on, but driving it on the motorway to your next adventure destination is very comfortable and it's uh, excelling in that role. I would say on-road behaviour is probably a notch up from the fullback. Definitely the ride quality I think is a bit better, but we'll have to wait for the final verdict. 
There's definitely some clear differences on road, but let's head to the dunes and see how they compare on sand. Now I know I've lost the drag race, but here in the dunes I want to redeem myself with this little bit of a dune competition. So me and Wilhelm will see who can scale this dune first. So hold on. I think in conclusion, the safe money still has to go to the Ford Ranger. It's got a proven track record and you're guaranteed a good resale when it gets time to sell it on. Then also I think the ride and handling is slightly more comfortable than the fullback and you've got that six-speed manual gearbox opposed to the fast speed in the fullback. So I think my money will go for the Ranger. Nico, I slightly disagree with you. I think it's a great effort by Fiat. It's got a lovely engine, it's more power, more torque, and it's got a very good specification level. And let's not forget, at this stage, it's 20,000 Rand less than the Ford. So I'll actually take the Fiat. I must agree with you. It's a very impressive first entry into the market by Fiat, but I think we'll have to wait and see how the market reacts to a Fiat badge for the very first time on a double cab bucky.